Hi everyone. So before we start our decryption part of a hill cipher, let me tell you that I have committed a mistake and that is the plain text length is 6 whereas the cipher text we are getting is uh, it's not a mistake it's like it's unnecessary thing that we are getting in the cipher text. We don't want to append this x when our plain text is simply a multiple of n the length of the plain text I'm talking about. So we want this condition not to work when uh, we are actually having a plain text which is a multiple of uh, n. So for that let me give a condition if length plain n modulo n not equal to 0 only then this thing should execute. Then let us try again so here is our key and here is our plain text which is uh, our tech so now it's working so let us copy paste these three things uh, so that uh, we will be able to validate it towards the end uh, after the decryption part is over so we want to validate these three things so for the decryption part let me tell you that we uh, we, we just don't need to do anything extra we already know for the encryption the main thing was the key rule was cipher text equals to k times we were having a key matrix and we are multiplying with it the plain text here we are doing the reverse for obtaining the plain text we want the inverse of key matrix that is k dash and it's the cipher text so for getting the k inverse we will require another function okay so a lot of things I can feel that they can be done using the code of the encryption part itself. So let's see it how we are gonna do. Let's comment it out simply. We don't need you. Now we will need key and we will also need plain text which will be cipher text in the decryption part. So this is it. So this is our and I'm removing the comment and this plain text this should be cipher text instead and uh, cipher text and actually I don't need to do anything because already I will be having cipher text in good condition I'm assuming it should I do some validation on key uh, if suppose I'm receiving wrong key I should do some validation then simply copy paste the same validation actually it's working there that's it we uncomment it so here we are done so what is it that we have done wrong why it's showing error so like it's now we are done with this validation let us call the matrix matrix variable let us make a function key matrix let's say it is inverse because we want k inverse so we have named it that way and let us suppose uh, this will be taking the argument as a key and the length n as we did in the encryption part let's go and try to uh, write the code for it so here we are going to write def key matrix inverse so it is taking key and uh, n as its arguments so here I go I need a matrix which I'll be returning. This is the final result for the now. Similarly, I don't need to do this again and again. Uh, we just want to form a matrix and which we will we'll be able to form it this way. And we can also do the validation of uh, our matrix, the square K inverse matrix basically. So we can do this. Just copy paste it and that's it. Uh, I think this is the determinant of the matrix and uh, I will require it later on so I should assign it to a variable d equals to this and we should use d here now for getting the 
what is the inverse what is k inverse actually k inverse is 1 over modulus of k or i say determinant k multiplied by adjoint matrix of k so for getting adjoint matrix let us import a library called the uh, simpy and now we will be using a method of simpy and what is that first of all let's make a matrix we will require a matrix then let's make a matrix spatial matrix and let's pass this matrix this this matrix actually into it so it's all zeros and nothing else now a equals to no 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 i'm sorry it's not zeros we actually have appended all the stuff over here so that is our k inverse matrix basically that is k matrix not k inverse matrix so we are now forming k inverse matrix my bad my bad now we are having this adjugate so adjugate is basically uh, same as adjoint it's different name it's i may say it's an alias uh, and modulo inverse and uh, this mod inverse i'm supposing I'll, I'll create this function i will assign this function to give me multiplicative inverse of uh, k determinant of k because i will be writing k inverse equals to 1 by k uh, multiplied by adjoint k but 1 by k i want that to be a multiplicative inverse in modulo 26 so for that let us pass this determinant and modulo 26 this function will do this job and we will be defining this function as soon as we are done with this shit all right so so first of all let's define this mod inverse what the heck are you now def mod inverse and let's take it as taking a and m let's suppose anything so a will be a modulo m and uh, let's traverse for x in range i'm just finding out multiplicative inverse in of a in mod m that's it so if and uh, so this is it i should use semicolon and uh, here we go it should return me x right away because we have found uh, the multiplicative inverse at this point under mod in modulo m and if it is not so let's just return one because one will always satisfy now we are done with it so we are having our matrix but this matrix is actually a special type of matrix it is under simpy we can't simply return it so we want to put all the stuff back to this matrix and for that we need simple loop for loops and for those four loops for i in let me write it fast range n yep it should be n for j in range n and now we are doing matrix of i and j element i j and it should be given that value which is i comma j and that's it we are done we should re return our matrix now all right so we are done with it but hold on this, this numpy this this will give me actually some even if i'm getting it a whole number for example i'm getting 26 so it will give me 26 point uh 26.0 and actually i'm finding out this mode inverse and here it should be integer only so let me do something let us use math.floor all right we're done with it and uh, now we are having our k inverse matrix here and simply we need ciphertext and for that let's use we need plain text back so i think we are having this what we did in this key matrix inverse is similar to what we did in this uh 
where was that key matrix and now this thing will simply multiply those two things our key matrix with plain text so we can use that same functionality to multiply our k inverse or the inverse key matrix with cipher text so why to write that code again and again we won't be using that boilerplate sort of thing so our plain back will be equal to uh, let me call what was the name he'll encrypt uh, just ignore this name cipher and uh, I'll be passing it my matrix my new matrix and that is it and it will be printing me this thing so let's try to check if it is working or not here our key should be cddg and our ciphertext should be fkmfio and it's not working so okay we need n here as well my bad now cddg fkmfio oh my god what the heck is this oh die. that's the problem let's run it again Please run run FKMFIO. Now it's working. So we can see our uh, decryption part is also working. We have done it. Thanks a lot. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.